Hello and welcome back to part 4 of how to create a Facebook clone using Trello with CSS and JavaScript. Well, so far so good. We've been able to achieve that over there. And so now uh, the next thing that you want to do is to create uh, the model that like when you click on this should appear. If I may show you the final product here. If I click on this, uh, then this module appear on top of the other elements here. And this is where a person can be able to light their post. So let's see how we can be able to achieve that. And also to make that possible, we'll also be writing a little JavaScript that will help us to, one, make the module to appear and also uh, close it over there. So as you can see, we have a lot to do. So let's just jump in into Visual Studio and have that started. So this is where we have our post and just below the button where we have what's in your mind. We below the button we're now going to have the model so it will start and ends here. It's good that you have some comments there uh, just to help you to understand your code. So um, the very first thing that I want to do here is uh, to just create the parent div that is going to house uh, everything in this uh, model. I'm also going to create another div here. This is just to structure my model and also be able to like style it uh, the way I want it to look like. And inside that I'm also going to have one more div. And now within that I'm going to have the title for our model. So like you can have the model title there and so now uh, beneath that beneath that we're going to have the title within H4 and I'm just going to come and say uh, create post. So now if we just try to look at what we have there so far, I know it's just a basic uh, HTML that we've added there, but let's just see. Okay, we have it over here. And so now what we can now do is just add a few classes that will help us to um, style it um, and uh, to make it look like a model and so the very first thing that uh, should come to your mind when you're thinking about creating any model is uh, the positioning of the model and one of the very important cards that you uh, need to use is the absolute uh, and uh, <clears throat> what the absolute will do is that it will position an element outside of the normal flow of the document causing neighboring elements to act as if the element does not exist. I'll uh, just hold that thought of the absolute uh, and uh, I will have the items justified at the center uh, for anything that is within this uh, element and also I'm going to have the items center so all this is again helping me uh, to uh, place uh, my uh, specific uh, element here so um, I'm also going to have that with a BG so and uh, it will be glare um, 400 uh, we are going to add some uh, opacity for this so I'm just going to come and say BG opacity of 50 yeah and that's just about it over there let's continue adding some few more classes now to uh, the uh, containers within the main container here so here I'm going to come and talk about class and uh, I'll, I'll give this a BG of white and also um, the size i'm going to rather the width i'm going to give it to all over five and also uh, a padding of um five all rounded i also want it to be loaded as well this specific div and also i'm going to give it a shadow of extra large uh, for the text within this div i want it to be a glare 800 so let's try to look at what we have so far so let's refresh here and after refreshing uh, this is what we have 
so um, we're going to come back to the parent div here and um, we're now going to come back to the thought of absolute and just see what will happen when I add the uh, absolute so we can just refresh to see and now as you can see what has happened is now uh, that specific um, a div or element now appears on top of the rest of the elements that uh, we have here and that the very first step that you should take when you're creating a model so it should appear on top of the other elements that you have and uh, to achieve that you just add the class of uh, absolute and now i want to uh, dictate uh, the uh, uh, the positioning of this specific uh, element that is from top uh, right left and center so i'm going to come in and uh, another class we call it inset and i will have that as zero and so what this will just do is that it is just going to position uh, this specific element like the padding top uh, bottom right and left will be zero so let's just refresh that and see what we have achieved there and that's what we have achieved there as you can see now we have this model now appearing on top of the other elements and now we have this ovary and because of uh, the um, opacity that we have added here we're able to see what is in the background okay so now that means we can now go ahead and uh, continue creating this model okay so i'm just going to uh, continue to add a few more classes here before we add anything else so for this div that is housing at uh, the uh, model title uh, let's uh, add a few classes just to style it a little and uh, um <clears throat> I'm just going to make the items there to flex in a row and also uh, to justify between so we said that the justify between will just distribute the elements within a specific uh, div to be distributed uh, so that we have some spaces in between them and they're not like too close to each other um, if you want the spacing between them to be even you can just use the justify even so um i also want the items to be centered uh so for the title here for our h4 let's also give it some um, style here so um i just want the text to be large so that is um text uh large and also the font to be bold so font bold good so that uh, is looking good there <clears throat> so um still on that we in this specific div here uh we need to have uh, this closing uh this closing uh icon here so we're going to get that from hello icons here so i can just come and look for it so we have it here so i'm just going to use that uh, it's an SVG so that I'll just come and have it fixed uh, below here and uh, I'm going to add a few classes to it just before I leave there so uh, for the height I'm going to give it 10 and uh, the width again I'll give it 10 and uh, I'll also come and talk about um, the positioning of this remember it should be at the very end you can see what we have it at the very end here so to make that possible i'm going to talk about uh, a class that we call justify end so that will position an item at the very edge of an element or a container and uh, also now for the color i'm going to give it a gray uh, 400 okay so so far so good that is looking great there so we have the credit post here and then we have this at the very end here so if i want this to come at the center i usually have a very funny way to fix that uh, i can just come and uh, duplicate this 
I'm not saying that this is the light way, but it's the easiest way. And uh, I can just get rid of this. So this way now, this will be taken as a, a component which will be given some space. And so now this one will be pushed at the center and this will be pushed at the very end. So I just try to refresh that and see if we can be able to achieve that. Yeah, and at least we have it uh, appear there. Okay, so, so far so good. So we can now move on to the next and below that we just need to draw this line and have these other components down there. So just below this specific container here that is housing the title and the closing button, uh, we're going to create yet another uh, uh, container. So over there and uh, uh, within it or inside it, we are just going to have a line, a horizontal line. To achieve that, I'm going to have the HL. Um, so we'll be styling that in a minute. Uh, but again, just below that again, we'll create another div. So this is the div now that is going to uh, house uh, the elements below the HL. So uh, below this line, we have these elements. So we are creating a div for that. And uh, inside it, uh, we're just going to have an image. So this will be like the profile picture of whoever is posting this. Uh, below it now we are going to have another div so this is the one that is going out to house the name of the user so we are going to have the name within h3 and we're just going to have that very good name appear there and um, that's it so now the next thing that we also want to create uh, is uh, this uh, component here the gray one so uh, again we are creating a div for it just just below the h3 so we are creating another div for it so within it now we are going to have uh, yet another div that is now going to house the elements within it and so now uh, those elements are uh, this uh, public icon here uh, wow and then you have the word and then you have this so these three elements are the ones that we want to put there so i uh, will start with the very first icon there i don't know what it's called we'll called call world yes we have it uh, here i think this one so i'm going to have it now inside here now below it we are now going to have uh, the word public Again, I'll wrap that in another div just to make sure that we are having everything structured well and also be able to style it. So again, another a div. And now um, I can just come and have the word public. And uh, below it, we are going to have one more uh, div. So this one will be holding an SVG icon. And that will be the alo. So we have it over here, and I'm just going to come and have it um, there. So far, so good. So we have that container that houses those elements that we have there. And so now, all that we can do now is to style it even before we continue. So let's just see what's there. Let's refresh that. Then we achieve something like this. Yeah, something like this. So so far so good. So let's style it a little. So we're going to start with uh, the very first one here. Uh, in fact, we we're just going to start yeah with uh, this one, the uh, main container um, that is housing the new stuff that we've added below the HL here. So. Um, Let's just add, uh, add a few classes there, just to style that. So one of the things that I'm going to do is to add uh, the margin. So I want the margin top to be um, a two and uh, the text to be small. For anything that is within that container, uh, for our HL again, we are going to 
um, talk about uh, the margin top being two so that is not close to the items on top of it and now for the div that is housing the profile picture and the other content uh, within it we are going to style it this way so we'll add uh, these classes so uh, one is that uh, the items should flex in a low and for the padding all rounded we should have it as two and the spaces uh, between uh, the elements in a low uh, should be two good and now we can style the image uh, very important so again we add a class to the image and this is how we are going to style our image uh, one we're going to talk about the width of this image uh, so we're going to give it eight and for the height it should still be eight uh, it should be a circle so um, I should come and talk about rounded full and that's it um, so now the next thing is uh, the element next to the profile image uh, that is the name and uh, the other elements there so for the div that is housing them this is how we are going to style it so one we are going to make the items within their two frets and uh, for the space uh, between uh, the items there we should have them uh, spaced at two and uh, for the BG of this specific container should be gray 500 or rather 200 and also I want it to be rounded medium and uh, for the px i'm going to give it two i also want the items to be justified at the center uh, so uh, or to be centered that uh, that is so i'm just going to talk about justify uh, center and uh, items center this uh, utility classes will just help us to center the items okay so so far so good uh, over there um, so, mm -hmm. oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, we've added this in the long place. Sorry. Um, for these classes, we should not have them uh, within this div. Uh, so, we not. We just get rid of it. So for this specific uh, div that we are having here, uh, we are going to talk about uh, flex and uh, this is because we want the items in this container to flex in a column and uh, let me just show you what I mean there because you could now be confused. So let's just get here. So we are saying that for the text and this component here, they should be in a column. Before now we start having this in a low, first of all, the name and this component here, they should be in a column. So that's what we are adding here. So that now we can come and add those classes that we are adding here, here. So this is now, uh, this is now the name, uh, as you can see it over here, the name. And then now we want to style this, we want to give it this background. We want them to be uh, aligned in a low and uh, also to be spaced um, uh, or to have a space of two uh, between them yes so that's what we want to do in this specific container here so i'm going to add a class and uh, the class itself um, i'm going to add the following utility classes so uh, this is what we had added on top there so items to flex uh, the space between them to be two so space x2 and uh, for the background color just like we have seen it should be gray 200 uh, it should also be rounded uh, medium 
the padding uh, right and left should be two we also want the items to be centered so we'll talk about uh, this utility class uh, justify center and also items center so this ensures that the item is perfectly positioned at the center Yeah, so from right, left, and from top, uh, uh, bottom, we have it at the center. So that's it over there. Uh, let's refresh uh, so that we see what we have created so far or what those utility classes have done. Uh, yeah, so now we have something like that. You can see now this one is still within um, a column. So this should flex uh, in a low so so for that now uh, to make them to flex in a low that now will come in this specific div so if you come to this specific div and add a class of uh, flex of course now we should have them flex in a low yeah so now you can see they appear in a low so now we want the spaces in between them so we are going to talk about space x oh sorry just a minute here uh, we should not have this one here because looks like it's the same with what we have here i think we are uh, having some excess containers here which should not be the case so apologies for that let's just get rid of that uh, over there and then this one now should be fixed as well so over there uh, just a minute i fix this here and um, yeah so now we should have something like that so this is now the container that is now going to house um, uh, this stuff here Let's take a flash and see if there's any change that appears there. Yes, so that should what we want over there. Uh, the spacing is okay, but this one looks to be so large. Okay, so so far so good. So the next thing that we also want to do is to fix the size of these specific uh, SVGs. So I want to reduce this to four. as well as the next one here yeah so so far so good now that looks nice there so therefore now that means that we can proceed on to the next thing and uh, that is uh, the uh, this area uh, below uh, this so how do we achieve this so for that now what we're just going to do we're just going to add a text area that will act as a space where you can like compose your post or like write your post so this will be the div that is housing um, this is the div that is housing the profile image uh, and also the other stuff so uh, these ones here so we want to get out of this div and below it now we want to have the text area so that way now it means it is below this div that you're going now to come and have that text area so I'm just going to have it uh, within a form and so now within the form I'm going to come and have the text area now and I'm going to reduce here the lows to 5 from 10 to 5 for the columns I'm just going to leave them at 10 that's good uh, but I'm going to add a few classes to it here just to make sure that uh, it is styled the way we want or it appears the way we want so uh, for the text that will be written in it, it should be large uh, there should also be a padding top of 2 and when clicked we don't want to have that outline so for that I'm going to talk about focus uh, outline 
Well, one of the things that we want first of all fix is this text area that we have here. So let me just add a few columns uh, to uh, text area. So instead of 30, we can have that as 60. So, so far so good, that now should be fixed. Now the next thing that we want to have is these two uh, items below uh, the text area. Before now we go to this and then add that to the post button. So just below the form and outside of this specific div, we're going to create a div. This will be the parent div that is going to house the two components that we've just seen. And now inside there we are going to have now and the specific divs uh, two that will house now the individual uh, components and so first of all i'm just going to label them uh, just so that we have a picture of what we are creating here and so now the next thing that i also want to do is to style them so i'm just going to add a class of flex sorry let me fix this and um, I also want them to justify between so that one will make them now to have a space in between them so let's just first of all uh, see how we have them right now so I'm just going to come here and refresh that so you can see the text area was fixed and now it fills the whole available space the numbers all the items that we uh, we are creating right now you can see yes they have flexed but we want to have a space in between them so to be able to do that we're just going to add the class justify between so just we just uh, sorry that will just make them to uh, spaced out um, so like there will be a very nice space in between them so let me just show you that so that you like get to understand how to use the justify um, or when to use the justify between just to help your uh, items align between yeah so as you can see now that's what we have been able to achieve so we have now this space between the two and all that is because of uh, this class here the justify between so we can just leave it uh, like that for now So the next thing that we can also be able to do here is to just come and and the a b uh, Inside there and now we want to style this because we want this specific div to have uh, What we call a, a gradient a background So um, what we are going to do Is we're just going to have a class so the first thing is to add the padding right and left so that is px and i'll give it three and also i'll also give it a py remember py is uh, top and bottom so i'll give that one i also want this uh, div to be loaded raj well so the next thing that i also need to add here is the gradient background and these are the utility classes that you can uh, add so that you have a background color in a specific area so um, for this i'm just going to talk about bg uh, gradient because i want a gradient and um, i want it to start from top right so i'll say it to um, tl and um, the first color uh, will be um, land so i'm just going to talk about from so uh, when we want to uh, add the first color you talk of from and then you add the color and the saturation in our case it is lead 500 and um, i also want to have a middle color so for the middle color i'm going to talk about via and the color uh, or the middle color should be purple and the saturation of that should be 500 and now I want the that color which will be at the bottom and uh, so for that color I'm going to talk about two and I'll talk of pink 500 okay so that is the background uh, color there um, one of the other things that I also want to include there is a shadow for that specific leaf so I'll add a shadow of um, raj or a large shadow rather and um, allowed that specific uh, div i also want to have an outline uh, so um, i'm just going to talk about outline and the size of the outline should be two so I'll again talk about outline two and also uh, the color of the outline uh, should be white so i'm going to just add white and that's it with that first component there so let's just see how it looks like now 
yeah and that's what we've been able to achieve over there you can see the white outline here and also there is uh, a large shadow around that specifically if you can see we have the red color the purple and the pink yeah and you can have it in whichever way you want this is just uh, my style um, you can play around with the colors and also how the direction of uh, the uh, ingredient colors okay so so far so good now the last one of course is just um a what uh an svg because it's just um an svg icon that is representing the um uh, emoji so this one here so this one should be very easy because you're just going to and an svg for an emoji and uh, we'll be done with that over there so i'm just going to head on to hello icons so here i can just come and search uh full emoji you grab one there and have it inside here um and um maybe i can change the size of the svg so i'm just going to come and make it eight instead of six And maybe we can also talk about the text uh, color. And maybe we talk of uh, yellow 500. Well, that is there, but oh, the color is not yet changed. Oh, sorry, we don't need to have uh, this one. It should just be text and then the color. Sorry. Uh, so we should just have text, uh, yellow, and then the circulation. So that one should work. Uh, at least for us now yeah so that works so that's what we just need to have below there so the next thing that we now want to build is this and the button that should be very easy and fast so um just below that um and that is just below this div uh that houses those two components that we've just concluded with them i'm going to have yet another div and uh, this will be the parent div of course so inside it uh, we are going to have uh, two divs again so let me just have this one in a position where it's visible yeah so here i'm just going to have uh, two other divs so in the very first div this is where we are going to have the and to uh, your post and um, uh, the other one now uh, is one that will uh, uh, hold the icons so svg uh, icons we'll be adding that uh, later um so let's first of all uh, try to style that for now so uh, go to the parent div and and a few utility classes just to style that so and um, the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that the items flex like uh, they are in a low uh, we also want to have a border around uh, um, this parent div so uh, the border will be large so we're going to talk about uh, a boulder uh, range or lg and uh, for the color we'll give it a gray 500 we also want a padding all rounded of four a plus also margin top of four so that it doesn't touch the uh, component on top of it and we want it to be rounded a little bit so we're going to add a medium rounded uh, and also we want the items to just have a space in between them and so for that we're going to talk about justify uh, between okay so that should be it for that and um, we're also going to add a few classes for the svg icons that we'll be adding here so remember each and every svg icon will be wrapped within its own div so um like let me just show you here with an example so like for instance now the whole of these uh, should be wrapped uh, or wrapped within a div rather so that's how it will look like and then you're going to have uh, several of these depending on how many divs that uh, we need to have there so 
uh, me also just duplicate it uh, so that we can see how the SVG will look like. So now we need to style the parent div that is housing these uh, SVG icons. So for these, I'm um, just also as usual make it uh, or make them to frets. That is, they should appear uh, in a row layout. And also, we want to add some spaces in between them. So we are going to talk about space. Um, it's because and because it is space right and left. We're going to talk about x, and the space will be oh, four. And that's it for that. So if we refresh, we should be able to see that change uh, there. So you can be able to see that appearing very well, just like what we have here. So all now that we need to do is to have the SVG icons, and I'm just going to have the SVG icons uh, quickly here, uh, so that um, we try to save some time. So I'll be back when I'm done with SVG icons there. And so I'm back and that's what we have over there. You can see the beautiful icon. So it's just some SVGs that I've added and also added um, these classes. So it is of uh, size uh, or width uh, 6 and height of 6. And also the text uh, color. I've added the colors there as you can see very well uh, over there. So and because we, we had already styled the parent div for the specific SVGs, we had them flexing and also having the space of four, but we now we are able to achieve something like this. So the last thing that now we need to add there is the button. So it is this button that we can see down here. And so adding that again, as usual, is very quick and easy. So basically we're just going to uh, have it either as a button or as um, a div and then we try to style that so let's just head on to visual studio and uh, try to have that so so just below this specific div i'm going to create another div so um we can either have a div or a button or both for me i'm just going to have both so it is within this div that i'm going to have a button so it is now this button that we are going to style so that it appears just like what we have over there so the button is post and let's just style it so uh, class and um, first of all we're just going to have it flex uh, it should also be just uh center like it should be centered item center so anything that is in this button should be at the center uh, for the uh, background color we'll give it blue of 500 it should be uh, slightly rounded so rounded medium padding all rounded of two and also we should make it fill the whole uh, available space so width of full uh, the text that should be in this um, button should be white uh, for the font we are going to make it uh, semi bold uh, so semi bold and um, we also don't want like to have that uh, outline when we click it so for that I'm going to talk about uh, focus and I'll say outline should be none yeah and uh, that's it for uh, the button there uh, so far so good and now we are done with the model so now the next thing that we want to do is to make sure that yeah, we can be able to open and close it let's just refresh sorry it's over here yeah and that's what we have there but we have one more thing that we need to do it should have a space in between the first component and the second one there so in the uh, parent div here that houses the button uh, we can talk of class and then we can talk of margin top so that is MT and uh, it can just be four uh, for the space so yeah something like that so that should be fixed now so now we want to add some little JavaScript that can help us to close and also show that specific model so uh, before we add the um, 
JavaScript. Um, so the first thing that you need to do is to head on to uh, the button that you'll be using to close uh, this specific um, model. So um, yeah, so it is for this specific uh, SVG here and uh, we need to add a class uh, that's only an id so i'm going to talk about id and i'm just going to call it uh, close model because that's what it will be doing so uh, close um, model so close model so that's how that should look like and then we also have one more thing that we should also all one more id that we need to be able to add um remember for us to be able to showcase the model we'll be clicking on this and then this one appears and then to make it disappear we'll be closing it here so we also need to be able to add an id to this specific uh, um, area here so ours is hidden because our model is not yet hidden and in fact now uh, what we can also do uh, just to make sure that everything is working fine uh, we need to have this model with a class of hidden so that first of all all by default to be hidden and then it is a user who will like um, be clicking uh, to like uh, make it appear like it should be on a certain event that the model should appear so I'm going to uh, uh, come here and talk about uh, hidden and that way now we should have it uh, hidden like it should disappear so we should not have it yeah, so we should now have it hidden like that and so now we can be able to easily now come and add whatever we want in this specific div which is where we'll be clicking so that the model can appear and so i also need to get rid of this flex we should this flex and this hidden is the same so we should not have the two there So for this specific div, uh, this one, because it is one that is housing that area where we'll be clicking for the model to appear. So we're just going to come here and add an ID of uh, post. You can just call it post. So ID post. Uh, just like that. So that's all that we need. Uh, before now we go to the uh, uh adding some little javascript there well so this is all the javascript that we require uh, for us to be able to uh hide and show the uh, model so what's happening here is we just added an event listener and so it will be listening to these specific uh, uh, buttons like if they are clicked so the very first uh, uh, button here will be the post so this one is the one that will be helping us to get the model and uh, for us to be able to get to this we'll be clicking on this specific button that will be leading us to this so this is now the model for us to be able to show the model we'll be clicking on this compose uh, a button to get to the model and now to be able to close the model we'll be closing now with this so this is the id um, that is on the close button so whenever we click on that then the event listener will be listen, listening to this and then it will be uh, toggling now between uh, hiding and uh, showing the specific um, um, model so for that now it therefore means that we need to add these uh, two ids that um, we've not just added i think we added the post but we had added it in the long place so uh, for the post id we should just have it in the model so let me just show you that uh, so over here we should come and add the model here so in this specific div we should come and add the id um, and then we can talk of um, a post so that's the id now that uh, will be listened to and then when it is clicked then we should be able to um, uh, be able to get the model and also i'm also going to come and also include so i'm also going to come and also include in this specific button that will be clicked so that we show the model uh, we should be able to come and add uh, uh, an id here 
so that is id and uh, here we can talk of uh, uh, compose sorry uh, that is compose uh, a button so it is this button that should be clicked so that it leads us to the model and uh, that will be with the help of the javascript that we've just added here so let me just show you there once again so we have the compose button uh, which is the first this down that will be initiating the whole thing so when it is clicked then it will be um, leading us to this id which now shows us the model so when we are done with the model we are done with everything there we can now come and uh, uh, close and this is the id that will be risen to whenever it is clicked that will be uh, helping us to be able to close uh, the specific model so let us test and see if that is working as we would expect so i'm just going to refresh this and then i'll click on this div that has the class of compose button and when i click it now i can be able to see the model appear there um so for us to be able to get the model it is because of the post um id and now uh, here we have uh, the the delete um id so if i click on it now that should be helping us to close okay it's not closing that means we need to fix something there so it is because of this id that uh, maybe it's missing on that specific svg so let's just head on there sorry i, I just i wanted to copy that so let's just add the uh, head on there and see so it is this uh, no 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 it's not that one let me just show you that SVG that has that and so we should have it just I think uh, here so we should be able to come and see it in the SVG so this is the SVG that has that X so that is uh, this one here so we need to come and add that ID so it should be somewhere here so talk of id so now we can have that id there so that is now um, what we need to add there so that now after refreshing that uh, we show the model and then now we can be able to close it there so it is as easy as that okay so now that that is working fine we can now move on to the next part uh, which is uh, this specific part below here we will be creating this specific post and um, these icons here uh, the like the comments the share and also the uh, comments below that and also a, a place where you can be able also to add your own specific um, a comment yeah so well that's it for part four see you in part five as we continue creating a facebook cron using fluid css and some javascript